Hello, Orchard Church. You know, there's just no getting around the fact that these are difficult times. And that's got me thinking recently about that old saying that adversity builds character. Some people have suggested that adversity doesn't so much build character as it does reveal character. And I think both of those things are actually true. But the question that I'm really more interested in is how can I be a person of character um, when not just when life is good, but also when life is hard, because it's even more important then, and it's even more challenging then. It's even more important to be a person of character when life is hard, because that's when the people around us really need the best from us. And don't we want to be our best for our families, our friends, for our community, and for our world? And it's also true in terms of our faith. Don't we want to to be the best faithful person that we can be for God in those difficult times. And it's also much more challenging to be a person of character when life is hard, when we are tired, when we are angry, when we are worn out, all of those things that adversity can do to us. It's a lot harder to be our best selves. And, and at the same time, uh, in those moments, there's also great temptation for us to take the easy way out, to turn to things, to do things that are unhelpful and maybe even destructive. And so we return again to that question, how can I be a person of character, particularly when life is hard, um, like it is right now? And the answer for us as people of faith is actually really simple. And it's this, do what Jesus said. That's what being a person of character really looks like. It looks like Jesus. It looks like doing what Jesus said. It looks like doing what Jesus did. And there's always this really important question before us as people of faith. And it's, and it's this, is our faith just going to be nice thoughts and words or are we really going to live it? Are we really going to seek to do what Jesus said? And not just when it's easy, but also when it's hard. You know, Jesus confronted this very question early on. There was a day when he turned to the crowds that were following him. And he said this in Luke 6, 46. He said, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? That's a really good question. It's also a really hard question for us. Because again, that's what character looks like. It looks like doing what Jesus said. It looks like doing what Jesus did. So that's my call for us to seek to be people of character, particularly in these hard times when the people around us need the very best from us. And also so that we can prove to ourselves that our faith is not just nice thoughts and not uh, nice words, but that we're really going to live it, that we're really going to seek to do what Jesus said and not just in the good times when it's easy, but also in the hard times when being a person of character is difficult. That, again, that's our my call for us this week.